Sebastian, everyone. Put your hands together for Sebastian. Thank you so much for coming here. All right, we already gave a, and I, I didn't know what their name was. It's Narwhal. I thought it was the Narwhal, so we'll just move on from that. Welcome to the show. Thank you all so much for coming out. Thank you for working with me despite some uh, technical difficulties. We're going to have a fun show uh, regardless here. Um, well, thank you. Uh, we're also on live stream, so welcome to everyone at home. Thanks for everyone tuning in. You know, my mom, uh, and I think Aditya's parents. I think that's kind of it. Um, I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, let's also take a moment to thank... Oh, oh, caveat. I don't mind if it's awkward. I don't mind, we'll do a slow start, I don't care. Caveat's been so great. This is such a sick venue and I'm really excited to be here. I feel like, uh, like a homeless guy wandered into a mansion. This is like way too nice for my standard of things. Um, but you know, before we, before we get too much into thanking Caveat, I'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors for the evening. You know, sponsors are very important to live radio. Advertising keeps us, keeps us around. So our first sponsor for the evening, let's put our hands together for Arby's. Guys, Arby's has the meats. And so does the stuff on Radio Free Brooklyn every Sunday night. Also sponsoring the show tonight, Clamato. Hey! That killed your grandma. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy how that works out? And guys, our final sponsor of the evening, BP Oil. We all love oil. BP actually gave me copy to read on this one, guys. BP Oil loves live versions of virtually unknown but highly regarded internet radio shows. And they promise to never spill oil into the Gulf of Mexico again. <laughs> so if they could please drill for oil there again, that would be appreciated. Guys, BP Oil, keeping this show on the road. Guys, why are we here? We already established that. I asked some of you. Some of you have no idea why you're here, but you're here to see a live radio show. I started the stuff on Radio Free Brooklyn back in October, completely alone. Uh, <laughs> But no, the stuff's gone through a lot of different iterations, but we are the number one talk show on Radio Free Brooklyn, which is the only Brooklyn-based sort of internet radio, live audio kind of place. So this is the number one talk show, radio internet talk show in Brooklyn. You can change it up. You can decide what you want to call it. But I'm happy to have you here. Um, I love Radio Free Brooklyn. I've, I've worked in radio for a while. I worked in radio back in college. I was a college radio person. Anyone ever work in their college radio station? Oh, sh well, I hired you, so that's, that's underwhelming. Um, it's not too fun. But radio radio is a lot of fun, and I want to do a live show. There's a long history of doing live radio broadcasts. I've worked on a couple here in New York. I work in radio here for WFAN and a couple other local stations like WCBS. And so I, I, I'm really, working in radio is fun, because it's kind of like when you get hired, and if like you got hired on the Titanic after the iceberg hit, <laughs> and the iceberg's Spotify, that's... <laughs> Kind of what working in radio feels like right now. Um, but you know, I think we're gonna have a really fun night. I think we're all here, let's be loud, let's be raucous, let's have a fun time, right? We're gonna have a good time. I think, uh, you know, Caveat's a great venue, they've really helped me out, and I think that that is um, fun. You know, there's no consequence to having a good time. And, um, you know, just make sure that we, we're tipping our bartenders. <laughs> And we're, I mean, we're using all the facilities here at Caveat tonight. Um, but, you know, like I said, uh, these shows are expensive. See, I got like a whole workshop table over here. You guys have seen me on this the whole time. Um, guys, once again, shows are expensive to run. So let's give a round of applause for BP Oil, guys. <laughs> if I don't mention them every five minutes, I don't know where my uncle goes, okay? <laughs> BP Oil. Whoops. <laughs> all right, all right, let's get serious, let's get serious. Tonight's drink menu is gonna be a delicious mix. You know, everyone loves our RC Cola, right? Let's give a round of applause for our bartender over there. Oh, party lights in the house, fantastic, fantastic. Drinks for this evening. You know, an RC Cola spritz, we all like that. Mom wine, anyone a mom in here? We got that white, cold, vague wine that every mom likes to drink, right? Flu shots, be sure to get those at the bar. Two for one, BOGO flu shots. Beer I made in prison in 2006. And the BP oil spill. You guys wanna know what the recipe for the BP oil spill is? It's vodka, Yoohoo, Dawn dish soap, and a baby pelican. BP oil, guys. 
Um, this show was a little bit complicated for me to put on. I've been planning this for a couple months now. I asked a lot of people to be involved. I tried to get some really big guests for you guys, uh, and I did not. These are people who said no to the show this evening. I reached out, and they said no. Mike Berbiglia. <laughs> I guess he has to whisper at college students somewhere else. That's uh, Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk said no, and I saw Tony Hawk riding his skateboard in Soho. And I was like, I, you just do that casually? I thought that was your job. And I was like, do you want to come to a show? And he was like, no. I have to go eat a gland in a child's brain. Um, my mom, it's past her bedtime. 9.30's late. So she's out on Long Island right now hanging out. The stingray that killed Steve Irwin said no. He, was bit, he got booked, actually. He's on The View. Um, and my final guest, I thought it would be a really fun uh, time, but uh, CEO of Ocean Gate Expedition, Stockton Rush, but he stopped answering my emails. So I don't know what happened there. Um, guys, Caviar is a beautiful venue. They've been uh, fantastic to me, and I want you guys to take care of them. They do have a few rules, a few rules uh, to lay out here. So we're gonna make sure we're following those rules tonight, all right? And so to present those rules to you this evening, we got Lil JP. Put your hands together for Lil JP! All right. Welcome to the stuff, everyone. Welcome to the stuff. These are the rules for the stuff live from the venue caveat at 21A Clinton Street. Make sure you say the address. Go ahead. I'm D sorry. Did I not just say the address? No, you got it. No, no, you got it. I can say it again. You can say it as many times as you want, baby. Rule one. Your friend with the best announcing voice has to read the rules. Thanks, Little James. JP. Thanks, buddy. Rule two, no gambling, stealing, leaving the show to buy lotto tickets, or having unprotected sex. There's actually a bowl of condoms over there if you guys want some. There's no excuse. I, there actually is no excuse. Uh, you know, wrap up, wrap up, wrap up. <laughs> Rule number three, no animals. That means you, Gertrude, size queen. <laughs> I don't, they're the rules of the venue. I don't know. You're is, looking is at me. Is that the animal or the person who That's a woman, it? I guess. I don't know. Girth, truth, size queen. I don't yeah, know. Okay. She must be a friend. Rule number four. No being horny in the bathroom. <laughs> Rule number four. <laughs> no being horny in the bathroom. I can't resist in that bathroom. You know? It's pretty good. Some holes in the good. wall I want to explore. You know what I'm good, saying? Good mood lighting. Absolutely. I'll see you there in a bit. <laughs> Rule number five, you can yell at James, but don't be rude to his guests, guys. All right, come on, come on, they're guests. They're trying their best. They may not return. It's unscripted, too, so you don't, come on, all right? This is all scripted, even come the tech on. problems at the beginning come on. was okay. part of it, you know? Jeez, it got really bright up here. <laughs> all right. Rule six, please take the chill pills we administered on your way in. It's right Mo now. It's, it's Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Please take Molly. Uh, rule seven, if someone announces their candidacy for president, James gets to be the VP. James Donlin, everyone, 2024. Hey, anyone feeling feisty tonight? Does anyone actually want to do that real quick? A smart choice. <laughs> so you would lose to Ron DeSantis. <laughs> uh, rule eight, turn your phones up. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> Let's hear it. No one's texting you guys. No one's texting you. I want to know. No. If someone texts you, let yeah. me know. Like, let's read it, you know? Let's yeah. do full Aziz and sorry Saturday at MSG. Night, if you're getting a text tonight at this time, it's a booty call. Yeah. Grab a condom on and the And you're way here. Out. You're here. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just kidding. It's going to be great, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Rule number nine. Last rule. Most important rule. Have fun. And God bless the New York Yankees. Yeah, All right, let's get started, little JP, everyone. everyone, put your hands together. Guys, let's get this show on the road. Let's have a great time. I'm going to bring my first guest to the stage. Will you guys welcome me and welcome me? He is the host of the News From Bed podcast, a very funny podcast, and he's one of my closest friends. Please join me in welcoming Patty DeFino. Yeah. Woo! Patty, Patty DeFino. Oh, right on the lips. I feel like that's one of the rules. Patty, how you doing? Thank you so much for coming out to The Stuff Live tonight, bro. I set up the chairs. <laughs> you did. Round of applause for the chair guy. Everyone needs a good chair guy. Patty, how's your day today? You have anything, anything interesting happen to you? 
I peed in a bottle last night. <laughs> Where? In the car? No, in my room. Oh, that's sadder. Yeah. What kind of bottle? Well, I'm going to uncross my legs because I have, you know, I don't have those Kendall Jenner thigh gaps going. <laughs> I peed in a bottle because I was... <laughs> I got... I got really high, and I didn't want to wake up anyone in my house by going mm -hmm. to the bathroom. Yeah. But all I had was a full Gatorade bottle, so I had to drink the Gatorade. Wow. And then pee in the bottle. Compounding that liquid in your bladder. It was a net zero gain. <laughs> <laughs> it was a yellow Gatorade, too. <laughs> so the, the problem, color was unchanged. The problem is then you have to put the Gatorade in a very like discreet location, one where you're not going to wake up in the middle of the night and, and grab, grab it. for it? Yeah. What's this warm bottle I keep next to my <laughs> bed every night? Yeah. I like tepid hot water, you know, when I'm yeah. going to sleep. Did you ever accidentally drink a bunch of hot water? Should I be water? sitting closer to you? Come on closer. Yeah, you can come on closer. closer. Guys, this is, a, this is the first live stuff, so we're figuring it out as we go. This is going to be raucous. Have you ever peed in a bottle? Yeah, in a car, like on a road trip, I've peed in bottles before. Um, I always overfill, and then I gotta like clinch, and then I just have a second problem on my hand. Yeah. <laughs> I just split having to pee into a bottle full of pee and a halfway pee bladder. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I have a question. Can women pee in bottles? Yeah. Yes. Really? You guys have aim? With, with talent. talent. What does that mean? Do you guys bring funnels oh, with, with you wherever you go? Just in case. You got, anyone ever use that pee thing where you like for, for women where they can stand and pee? It's almost like a cup and you put it on. Like a pad? No, it's not a pad. It's a funnel that you put my in your mom, underwear. My mom uses the pads. The she-wee? I think it's called the she-wee. I think it's called. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving on. Let's bring, our, let's bring the rest of our, our, our people up here. Uh, guys, very funny comedian, one of the hosts and producers of Cult Comedy. I want you to join me in welcoming one of my close and very good friends as she runs to the back of the room. Put your hands together for Malia Simon! Hey. Malia Simon. Hi. Malia, thank you for coming out. Hi. <laughs> Appreciate you being here. I'm sweating still. Oh, I am too. I'm soaking through my new <laughs> shirt. <laughs> oh, that is a nice shirt. I did notice it's a nice shirt. You Thanks. Uh, my mom bought it for me earlier today. It's still got the it lines the from waffle. the coat hanger. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> I, I walked into that Marshalls and I, <laughs> yeah. I saw myself in a you shirt. You saw a $12.99 price tag. You thought I had no second thoughts. Could not resist. Yeah. Could not resist. Did you also get a bath bomb in line? Yeah. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> like that, they're like, you can have a bath bomb and a Bluetooth speaker. This is Marshall's. We know you're poor. It looks good. Everything at Marshall's in the checkout line is just jalapeno mango chips. Just everything is like... Yeah, the worst flavor the of worst all The worst flavor you could ever find. You want to have a hot mouth and no fun at all? These chips were made in 1987. <laughs> Dude, I, I sometimes I buy shit like on, on that section. Really? Just yeah, to experiment? I'm the person who that works on. Really? Yeah. Wow. Like, oh, shit. Birthday I'm cake like, flavor. Oh, I think I need Sneakers? This. I need yeah. some Michael Jordan Haynes t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> To put under my sundress. <laughs> you don't wear a sundress. Who am I? <laughs> it's sundress oh, no, season dude. out there, y'all. It is. Do you have a sundress? I own one. Oh, round of applause. <laughs> wow, very cool. What's the difference between a sundress and a normal dress? Sundress you get railed in. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a moon dress <laughs> for nice Catholic girls? Yeah. Just want to go on a nice coffee date. Yeah. <laughs> Just to read a book. Did you hear that click? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. That's fine. Well, Malia Simon, everyone, thank you so hey. much for being here. And I'm going to introduce our, our, our third guest of the first half of the show. He hosts a very funny podcast called The Morning Good Podcast, and you can see him at New York Comedy Club. Put your hands together right now for Michael Good! Hey! Hey! Michael Good, everyone! How you doing, bro? I'm doing great. Thank you for coming out. Thanks for having me. I, I will say you have the male equivalent of a sundress because I can see your nipples through your shirt. <laughs> I'm ready to get railed. Yeah. <laughs> By technical difficulty. <laughs> Dude, is this the male equivalent of the sundress? Well, I can see your Maybe. nipples. So is, that is that part of it? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. The oh, chain. You can't wear a bra and the chain? The chain is like, someone please suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got like a Tony Soprano look, but he's got such a nice face. Dude, like uh, the, the bottom I, half is like intense, and then the face is very... 
kind. I should cross my arm. I asked my mom to buy me a shirt like this for my birthday a couple months ago, and she mailed me two Tony Soprano costume bowling shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I took them out of the bag, and they were just the material of like an American flag. You know what I mean? And it just had like stripes down the side. It was just like, Mom, this is not real clothing. Yeah, James, you used to love to pretend to be an Italian. <laughs> <laughs> you used to love doing that. James, that was your favorite thing to do. <laughs> your mom does that. Okay, I met your mom. Yeah. She doesn't have a, that soothing of a voice. Well, she's, she's but her hips, she's good lord, her hips. When did you, you meet his mom? <laughs> met, when did you meet my mom, Patty? Uh, we, we went to see the greatest, <laughs> the greatest live TV show in the world. It's the number one late night talk show. Infowars? Um, close. close. <laughs> You're actually close. <laughs> It was li Greg Gutfeld live. <laughs> there, the we are, <laughs> the there we are, dude. There's us all gutted up, dude. <laughs> so my mom likes Gutfeld. It's a Fox News late night comedy talk show. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, you want to go see Gutfeld with me? I'm like, all right, I guess I'll ask Patty. You know, because Patty just seems like a fan, you know? You can say conservative. Conservative. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've submitted... Jo I mean, every comic, I think, has seen the Gutfeld comedy writer position on Indeed before. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, all right, I guess I could do that. And then they just they never They need writers, but yet the show shows that they refuse to hire any. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I send in jokes all the time <laughs> for that. It was kind of a crazy experience, because you just go to Fox News, just like the real Fox News, and there's just all these people walking around that my mom seemed to recognize every single person <laughs> That, yeah. by. that just looked like a janitor to me. It's <laughs> like a relatively conservative janitor, maybe, but you know, that's yeah. she was like, oh my god, it's Kristen Bertoldap, <laughs> the weather girl from the morning show. I'm Christine Bertoldap. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. <laughs> and I hate <laughs> immigrants. <laughs> you can see the weather moving in here, and the immigrants are coming through the wall. <laughs> that's There's a fun. hot front. Dude, I almost worked at Newsmax. Really? Yeah, I had like Third round interviews at News. Do you guys know what Newsmax is? Newsmax is like Fox News. It's this News. in 10 years. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's the stuff live at 10. It's like if Fox News was like, uh, like no hot blondes. It's just the conservative stuff. There's no like Ooh. marketing appeal. Everything looks like a like an Alex Jones web stream. <laughs> like, it's a real TV channel. You know, you, and I got to like third round interviews and I was like, I feel like I can't do this. <laughs> I feel like this might ruin the rest of my resume. You look like you fit in there. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I look like I am Long Island. We look like Long Island. <laughs> yeah. You have the conservative You're long and I'm that. island. <laughs> 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 I don't know why that's, that makes any sense. Dude, yeah, I do have those like... The conservative sunglasses. Yeah, like the boat sunglasses. And you can kind of see my penis yeah. through my pants right there. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I can, can see your butthole through Can we zoom in in the boot? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> zoom in a lot? I had these on the whole time. Enhanced, when I was watching Gutfeld, I'm like, I'm putting my shades on. <laughs> I'm blocking. And all this rhetoric, okay? <laughs> he was fine. It was fun. He it was, was fine. okay. First of all, it's bad. It's not funny. <laughs> it's terrible. This is, believe it or not, way better than that. <laughs> but it is a professional operation. Oh, he's a small that? guy. Yeah, he's about the size of a small corgi, I think. Yes. Yeah. And his ass moves the same way when he's like. He comes in like this, and he waves once at the audience, and then never recognizes them again. <laughs> and he like runs it, so he's got like an afternoon show. They bring you in. You're waiting in line outside. They bring you inside, and you sit in a hallway and watch Fox News for 30 minutes. Yeah, That's how watch, they hold we you. We watch 20 minutes of my pillow ads. <laughs> <laughs> like, fine. I'll, I guess I'll get the towels too yeah, for 29 They have towels now <laughs> to wipe the blood off when you're they in the revolution. Do look, they look absorbent, to be real. But um, yeah, Gutfeld was an interesting time, man. That was a very look at our happy faces, dude. We look like we look like uh, we're like Candace Owens said what? <laughs> Wait, what, where is this taken? Like a photo booth? Thing? No, this what was in this? the studio. I just whipped a quick selfie. Patty, why are you so, looking okay. off into the distance? So this is what the now. studio looks like. It's like a really <laughs> nice studio. <laughs> go back, go back, go back. Oh, you go back to the why other? is he looking off into the distance? He was praying. I was just to Mecca before the <laughs> yeah. show started <laughs> to freak out. Looking all the at a flag. <laughs> <laughs> But dude, like you walk into the coldest studio of all time, and then just a bunch of conservative news icons come out, and then they don't really make jokes. They make jokes like, uh, like when you're having a conversation with someone at work, and then they like try to throw a joke in there, oh. and you're like, okay, I guess that's a joke. Yeah. Cor corporate. <laughs> corporate joke. Corporate yeah, jokes. like water, yeah. water cooler humor. But they made it a late night television show. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty bad. 
They also, every joke is like, and Joe Biden's an idiot. That's the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting into a, have you seen a new News Nation? Oh, God. No, 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 no. Okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, I swear. <laughs> it's like what Chris Cuomo's on. And half it's just alien stuff. Just okay. once a week, they're like, UFO whistleblower. And I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> and you believe all of it because they're wearing suits. I'm like, they can't be lying about aliens. <laughs> Chris Cuomo's here. He would have jumped to, you know, something yeah. stupid. And that was probably Jesus' biggest problem. He didn't, he didn't wear a suit. Yeah, dude, Jesus. He's yeah, like, exactly. I'm the son of God. They're like, all right, sandals. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's a lie. I can see your lies sticking out your robe, you fucking idiot. Brush your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to. So, the stuff is a live call in talk show. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up the phone lines. If anyone's streaming in out there from the live stream, this would be an opportunity to call in. Our, our call in number is 646 807 8823. That's 646 807 8823. If you want to call in, I'll be taking calls for a real long time here on this stuff. This is kind of how. Uh, how the show operates and how we've been running. Um, but yeah, so maybe some people call it. What's up? It sounds like you're speaking to the audience right now. Like, damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you Which guys would be don't such call, a hilarious move. Just uh, front row guy calling us. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's people tuning in at home, so maybe they'll call in throughout the show. Maybe they'll have something uh, important or interesting uh, to add to the conversation. So let's skip through Gutfeld. Uh, it was an interesting week, guys, some, for some current events. Some, some, some different things happened. The Supreme Court rejected Joe Biden's student loan forgiveness plan. How we feel about that, audience? Yeah. Boo. <laughs> no, no, boo. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Everyone's in debt. Yeah, this <laughs> yeah. is fun. Well, thanks for coming to the show. Regardless. I shouldn't have to pay for blacking out four nights a week in college. <laughs> the government should cover that. Yeah. Um, guys, what is the worst degree to have right now? Third degree burns. <laughs> oh, I was going to say that. <laughs> I forgot which degree was the worst yeah. out of the burns. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I couldn't tell what the worst degree was. I had creative writing. Yeah. It was pretty bad. Especially yeah. as a writer strike now. So it's like, I don't know. There's just no job opportunities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, that's probably right. Like creative writing. You go to co anyone go to college for creative writing? Minor? I had a minor too like that. You know, you're allowed to minor in it. But if you commit to that full time... Like you're allowed to date certain people, but if you marry certain people, yeah. if you marry creative writing. Yeah. <laughs> or if you marry a minor, that's a problem. Too. <laughs> but think of all the jewels. It's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> what about like dance? Dance? Yeah. Dance seems like a rough one. The Any dance majors in the room tonight? Thank God. Oh my God. How do you <laughs> fail a dance test? That's I wonder, kind of yeah. How do they pop, quiz lock, you? and drop it just does not cut it. <laughs> <laughs> C minus. <laughs> you're going to remedial tap. <laughs> um, Does anyone ballroom dance anymore? Does that happen? I think they all died. Is there any ballrooms? <laughs> In the Titanic. When it's yeah. <laughs> that was the last of them. <laughs> Our brave heroes. It was like that, the, what was that flight that had like a whole soccer team on it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a flight of a whole ballet. A whole ballroom dance. You're, like, <laughs> you're just like combining tragedies. <laughs> <laughs> like, what was that cave with all the rich aristocrats <laughs> in it? <laughs> Dude, okay, so what? Now, okay, so everyone's degrees are meaningless. What did you get? You, you guys went to college, right? Did yeah. you guys? Yeah, creative writing. <laughs> That's uh, what I said. Uh, you yeah. do really? You made yeah, yeah, creative yeah. writing. So what do you do now? Oh. Uh, I'm an assistant. Oh shit, we fired. have a call coming oh, in. Oh shit! Oh my god. Hey, thanks for calling into the stuff. You're here with James, Patty, Malia, and Michael. How you doing? Hi. Um, I'm a long time fan of the show. Um, I just happen to be a, a, a dance major. I just didn't. I didn't really like the the. What? What? You didn't even finish what you said. Are you nervous? I'm sorry. <laughs> so you have the confidence to call into the show, but you don't have the confidence to stick by your beliefs. Listen, I am shaking in my chair right now, <laughs> full of anger and fit. Oh my God! He's saying piss. Piss. You pissed? Is there a bottle nearby? I, no, I just I have dance has ruined my body and I just can't take it when people <laughs> knock up my favorite thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, maybe you shouldn't just tune into any random thing and maybe have an idea of like what that's gonna be like, right? You know what? That's actually some good advice. You know what? <laughs> go back to school, man. Go be a mechanic. You'll be all right, okay? Okay. Thank you, Thank for you so much. Thank you for calling Enjoy in. Enjoy the show. Uh, we will. Wow, wow, that's our first call. I didn't think anyone was going to call in. Yeah. Round of applause for yeah. the first caller of the evening. Uh, that destroyed the risk of embarrassment. 
For who? No one calling in. No one calling in. <laughs> yeah, that would have been... I was worried about that too. I, was, I just <laughs> made a whole slide. I was and no about one... to call in and be like, hello? Hello? <laughs> hello? <laughs> Hattie? Um, all right, Dad? guys. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck. Fourth of July. <laughs> Fourth of July's right around the corner. Yeah. We love the Fourth of July in here. <laughs> Gas prices dropped to an unprecedented low ahead of the 4th of July weekend. Wow. Michael, with gas prices running so low, how much drunk driving will you be doing this summer? <laughs> A dangerous amount. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I've always uh, been kind of against drunk driving, but then I started getting these drunk... Somehow my algorithm on Instagram is drunk driving memes now. Jesus mm. It's like when your wife wants to take your keys and somebody like, ah. Like, it's a weird meme sphere to be in. It's on the side of the drunk driver? What, what's that? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. They're all, they're all like pro drunk driving memes. But I love them, so I just said You know when them. your friends try to fucking stop you yeah. from killing themselves in an It's like the most specific demographic. Yeah. How to get your keys back. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Another caller. This is his dance teacher. Hey, thank you for <laughs> calling into the stuff live. How you doing tonight? Good. Um, Hot sound. This is Shannon calling all the way from Honolulu, Hawaii. Oh, uh, Shannon Whoa. from Honolulu, Hawaii, everyone. Hey. Shannon, thank you for um, calling in. What time is it in Hawaii? It is. Um, Great. Thanks so much, Shannon. <laughs> How you doing? Thank you for calling in. How, uh, what, how's Hawaii? You doing anything fun over there? It's good. No, I'm just at the airport right now. Oh, I'm great. So the worst place to be. <laughs> Did you do anything fun? <laughs> what? Did you do anything fun? No, I just got here. Oh, all right. You know what you should do? There was this guy who did this recently. You should go to a restaurant with your family and try to drink all 21 signature <laughs> cocktails they have on the menu and then die. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. A real guy did that. He died? He died. Because he it drank was... all the seasonal cocktails? He did like uh, the, the Jamaican beer challenge, like fun thing. That yeah. They, yeah, yeah. Shannon, shut up, dude. What? <laughs> are you in security? Are you at JFK? Or are you in, you're in Hawaii now, right? I'm in Hawaii. All right, well, you're just calling us from the airport? It's a good signal. Yes. What time? I, don't, I, don't I, mean, I have that. a layover. Right now. Oh. So I'm just chilling. Damn. And I'm live streaming. So you tuned in. They said no one yeah. would tune in. These people in the front row didn't believe me that anyone was tuning in out there. Hey, Shannon, what are you doing in Hawaii? You getting a tan? <laughs> um, I'm when a joke bombs board. here, it feels horrendous. Because <laughs> <laughs> on a podcast, when there's no audience, I'm like, I bet you at home they're laughing. <laughs> but here, you can see it. There's, there's no delusion here. <laughs> These are the strongest podcasters I know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you guys sound like you're having a great time. I have no idea what you're saying. Great, Shannon. <laughs> Thank you so much. What, are you in? Are you in uh, Hawaii for the Fourth of July? I am. Great. Awesome. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. I appreciate you tuning in. Aloha, Shannon. Aloha. Mahalo Aloha. means family, but tomorrow means tonight. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. Just get bye. drugged. <laughs> All right. Well, that was Shannon. Guys, two calls. No one was gonna yeah, call baby. in. Hell yeah, dog. I think people doubted you when you said you were the best radio show in Brooklyn. I know, maybe, yeah. But now they believe now you. Now they believe me because I have at least two listeners and three friends. <laughs> you guys uh, you guys have any, like, Fourth of July plans coming up? You doing anything fun? No, are you? Mm, no, you want to you wanna figure something out? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? Like, what do you guys typically, you have any traditions or things that you typically do for Fourth of July? I like July? getting very drunk at the beach. That's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Florida vibes. Yes. Any Floridians in the house? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One. Which beach? Yeah. Oh, nice. I've never been there, but it Jack's sounds fun. Beach. Is wait, your name is Jack? Is it your <laughs> beach? <laughs> He's just calling it that right now. <laughs> it's Jack's beach. He just gets hammered enough. He's like, "Yo, this is my beach." <laughs> Summer. Summer's never gonna end, dude. Um, Hags. You guys ever have any like firework mishaps? Any firework nightmares out there? I've put sparklers in my butt before. <laughs> uh, what end? <laughs> well, the, the, the end. End. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to like have it. Just I don't for know. attention. They're <laughs> like, craving attention. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I understand. Oh, Some friends are having a fun conversation. I'm butted out. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we'll watch this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve. It's not even the 4th of July. Probably not healthy. No, probably not. Probably not. Dude, one time when I was in college, I was drunk at a party, and we had uh, bottle rockets. And instead of putting it in a bottle and having it shoot out, I held it in my hand, exploded in my hand, and I had, like, cuts all over. And I couldn't hear out of this ear for, like, two weeks. Wow. Now you're bionic. Just, just, 
<laughs> the best internet radio what, host. There was, a, there was a football player who that happened to, right? Uh, I want to say O.C. Uminiora? No, oh, oh uh, don't say it. Jason Pierre Paul. Yeah. Wow. It's a sports podcast now. Yeah, he held a firework, blew up, he lost three of his fingers or something, and then he, like, was a pro bowler in football. Really? Yeah, because he turns, only had the three fingers? Yeah, he was like a lobster. <laughs> it turns out... It turns Is that what that out, movie's about? <laughs> yeah, lobster? It turns out you only need, like, two fingers to tackle someone into the ground. <laughs> it's not really a big fingers game. Mostly, like, a leg-based... He has less brain cells than fingers now, too. <laughs> Sad. CTE. Sad, actually. Sad. Guys, um, you know, we want to keep the ad the ads running here. This show is... I just got to keep the money coming. Uh, so I'll read an ad for you right now. Um, tonight's show is brought to you by The Idol on HBO Max. I've watched this. You're watching this? Yes. This the Idol on HBO Max. Do you hate women? <laughs> and love watching actors pretend to have sex? Then you'll love <laughs> HBO's The Idol. Are you tired of watching a show that's going to finish its first season? If you like, sh I like shows that change in real time. Anything can be a mini series if you cancel it. <laughs> Have you watched it, dude? I'm watching all of it. It makes me so uncomfortable. Do I get yeah, to? Yeah, uh, it's weird. Do I get to see the weekend's hot cock? You, don't, you actually, you get some glimpses, but he's he's not a very good actor. You know, like so bad. Yeah. There's a scene where he's like fingering her in the sound booth. He's like, this will make the song sound better. <laughs> he's just having an orgasm. He's just like behind her like, yeah. yeah. And she's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then all the producers are like, this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Doing something so extreme just to have no product. Wait. Wait, auto-tune sex? Wait, the stuff live at <laughs> That's actually our next segment is auto-tune orgasms, yeah, Patty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, this show, right there, it's right canceled there before again. it's... <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> it's been canceled before it's even had a chance to make its mark. It was canceled? Yeah, it's not even going to get a second season. <laughs> it was so supposed dumb. to go till six episodes. They're cutting it at five. They spent like oh, $6 really? million dollars on the ads, too. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Just pictures all over New York of like... Didn't you see that? Dude, it's just like... I wonder if Johnny Depp's daughter smells as bad as he does. Because <laughs> 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 Me Everyone's too. like, great actor, it stinks, smells bad. That's like, imagine that being on your IMDb. Yeah. The stench of your Stink body. Stinky. Yeah. <laughs> For your entire he life. He loses roles because he has to be in close <laughs> proximity to people. They're like, I don't want that. Dude, he for sure has that like gross cigarette breath, but it's like covered yeah. by like that sexy Savage cologne. So yeah. they kind of mix it. Uh, yes. The French, <laughs> the French appeal. Yeah. yeah. Dude, uh, okay, so sometimes the sponsors on the show like when the guests read an ad. So, Patty, do you mind reading the uh, ad at the top there for me? Sure. Ads for Block A? Yeah, ads for Block A. We're in Block A right now. I don't know if you knew that. The stuff... Let me see. I fucked up stuff. <laughs> the stuff is brought to you by Olive Garden, the Broadway musical. Everyone's favorite cheap Italian restaurant has partnered with Broadway legend Peter Tinklestein to bring you one-of-a-kind soup, salad, and breadsticks experience. From the people that brought you The Real Housewives of New Jersey on Ice and the director of Big Mama, Mama's House 2, Olive Garden the Musical, a health risk for the whole family. Plus, at the end, the actors throw them little mint chocolates into the audience. <laughs> I read that wrong, but it was still funny. Dang, they love <laughs> Use proto code TURNIP for a free salad. You know, I, I just want to get some of these. Malia, do you mind reading ad number two for me, and then we'll just move right on to the next segment of the show for tonight? No problem. Thanks, Malia. You can Tonight's episode of The Stuff is brought to you by Dr. Peter's Power Bread. <laughs> do you wish bread could be more powerful? <laughs> <laughs> what if bread could make you stronger? More focused? Question mark? <laughs> what if a slice of bread can make your friends afraid of coming over to your house? Dr. Peter invented bread for people looking the next best thing after sliced bread. <laughs> Dr. Pete's. Don't just eat bread. Eat bread and become infected with HPV. Jeez, <laughs> yeah. You can't get like a manscaped ad. You just get these fucking Dude, these are, these are the ones that want me. Do you understand? I guess. I take yeah. what I get. It's like dating <laughs> and food at the buffet. I take what's available. You wow. I mean? That's <laughs> that. 
<laughs> so when you have a call-in show, you get regular voicemails. Uh, I'm going to check a few of my voicemails right now here for you. Um, you know, people like to call in when we're not here. And, uh, you know, let's get a listen to it. James, this is Teresa, your manager. Congrats <gasps> on getting the stuff. Live at Caveat. This is a big deal for you. Not many unknown comedians get the opportunity to pay for stage time. I am looking over the budget for some of the things you purchased are way over budget. We had to cancel the Shamu hologram because it ate the hologram oh. trailer. The smog in New York right now caused the helicopter we ordered for you to crash into a hospital for infant criminals. <laughs> Even Alan Arkin died instead of coming to your show. My big question is, since this is the biggest show of all time, what's next? What's next? Wow, guys? dude. What's wow, next? what is next, James? That's your boss? That's my manager, so I'm kind of Sexy. Hurt. Yeah, you know, I like the power <laughs> dynamic to be weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, um, I don't know what's next. I mean, I'm going to start doing, this is the first of the stuff live, and I'm going to do these once a month at Star Bar moving on from here. Nice. I'm just trying to like move it around. Caveat will help me back. Of course, we'll come back to Caveat, but the stuff exists on Radio Free Brooklyn every Sunday night at 8. Hell yeah. But I try, you know, like I showed you, everyone who said no, that was sad, right? And, but we'll only keep growing from here. So I'll, I'll check another voicemail, and then, uh, and then we'll move on. Hey, James. This is Pete from your restaurant job. You have really <laughs> done it this time, mister. Not only did you not put in time off for tonight, but instead of finding coverage for your shift, you just didn't show up. <laughs> it's gay brunch. We can't let Tony work gay brunch alone after what happened at Pride. <laughs> you said you got scurvy and couldn't come into the show. But I checked your Instagram, and I know you're at your live show. Better start looking for a new career, you pot-smoking honky. Everyone knows you don't miss gay brunch during Pride Month. All Dude, right. you skipped on gay brunch? Dude, I didn't know... I wanted to be here for the people, man. I wanted to make the show happen. Yeah. And so if that job wants me to serve watermelon mimosas to people, <laughs> I choose this. Why is gay brunch happening this time of night? Because that's when they like to do it, <laughs> okay. Michael. It's their yeah. month. Wow. <laughs> All right? I let them do what they want. I just serve the drinks. You should probably tell the restaurant to stop serving brunch this late. That's what I would say. Yeah. They might let you off the hook for doing this show instead if you give them an idea like that. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> They're just into it. They're just, like, down with me. Uh-oh. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Everything's different now. Um, guys, I'm getting a little tired. Anyone else getting a little sleepy? Guys, I think, I, I think it's time. <laughs> this is News From Bed. Hi, this is News From Bed. I'm live at the Caveat in Brooklyn. Yeah. It's not Brooklyn, but... uh. Am I supposed to leave? No, no, Michael, no he's just has another Michael show. <laughs> he's uh, he's, <laughs> he's got to take his birth control. Uh, <laughs> guys, this is the news, all right? Many are outraged after Netflix put the Titanic back on the streaming platform following the submarine disaster. Netflix says they're trying to make take the movie back off the site, but get this, their controller isn't working. <laughs> Remember that tragedy when the controller didn't work? <laughs> oh, yeah, when we were playing Star Wars Battlefront 2? <laughs> yeah, with a submarine. <laughs> Louis Vuitton just sold a microscopic handbag for $63,000. Rumor is the bag was purchased by Ryan Seacrest to carry his condoms in. I think that's a little rude. <laughs> He's talking about his small penis. <laughs> On the topic, Ryan Seacrest is taking over the reins of host on Wheel of Fortune. I'd like to buy a vowel and a bigger penis, please. I'm Ryan Seacrest, and I have a tiny penis. <laughs> Does he? Is that a rumor? <laughs> it's a fact. Former Wizards of Waverly Place actor Dan Benson has graduated from his Disney role to a career in pornography. Now, if only the Waverly Place mom could get something going. <laughs> Everything is not what it seems. <laughs> Comedian Roseanne Barr is being slammed for saying, quote, nobody died in the Holocaust. Not a good thing to be quoted on, James. <laughs> I'm watching myself. Now, this is no time for jokes. The Holocaust is, of course, one of the greatest tragedies to ever leave its stain on human history. 
especially if it happened. I mean, okay. <laughs> NASA has revealed that four volunteers are living in a virtual Mars simulation for a full year. To replicate the harsh and arid conditions of Mars, the simulation will take place in Martha Stewart's vagina. <laughs> the Mars rover captured a photo of a mysterious donut on the planet's surface. Very mysterious, Malia. A donut <laughs> on Mars' surface. Oh, wait a minute. This just in. Chris Christie has announced he's going to Mars. <laughs> he's uh. fat. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Researchers have discovered that women who drink alcohol have an increased risk of sexual dysfunction. Hey, how'd it go last night with that girl? Ah, we never hooked up. Whiskey dick? No, worse. Vodka vag. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, folks, Taylor Swift has racked up thousands of dollars in fines over trash left outside a New York City apartment. Her lawyers are trying to fight the charge, though, saying it is not her choosing where her ex-boyfriends plan to meet up. Oh! oh! This has been News from Bed. <laughs> news from Bed with yeah. Patty, everyone, and Malia Simon. Give a round of applause, and Michael Goodo had to run out. Bad. Guys, thank you so much. I'll have you come back up on the end, but keep it going for them. Leave your microphones on the chair. Give me a shake in my hand. Shake my hand. Thank you so much. Oh, my God, guys. We're just going to keep it moving right along here. Uh, I'm going to bring up our second half panel. Are we excited to see our second half panel here tonight? Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, guys, you know him from Half Pint Comedy. He's one of the producers and purveyors of that very comedy establishment, and he's one of my very close friends. Please put your hands together right now for Aditya Maya! Thank you for coming out, Aditya. Thank you for having me. Thank Hello. you for uh, having your parents tune in. This is Yeah, uh, I just want to read a text that my mom sent me. Oh, great. Uh, about let's, 30 minutes let's hear ago. it. Let's hear it. She said, let, let me just pull this up here. She said, uh, uh, excited for you to show up. All of the gang is listening in and waiting to cheer. And I responded, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate the gang. Uh, you're in a gang. I'm in a gang. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're all listening right now. They're all listening right now. What kind of gang affiliation? We call ourselves the Snuggy Boys. <laughs> And we kind of just go around doing random acts of kindness, which is what we call groping, uh, just wearing blankets. Uh, and we have been uh, contacted by Snuggie's legal team because they really don't appreciate yeah. us using their branding. All leather Snuggies. All leather Snuggies. <laughs> With the boys With written the on the boys back. back. No, Dude, I want a custom engraved Snuggie now in 2023. <laughs> I want it now. Can I also just ask, where did you get the picture of Patty? Because that was the worst photograph of anyone I've ever seen. Oh, I took it on a disposable camera <laughs> a very long time ago. Oh, and that's where I got it. Um, guys, he produced and directed up top a very special comedy special coming very soon. He's one of my close friends, and he's another person on the panel tonight. Please put your hands together right now for Jack Palefko! <laughs> Lil JP! Welcome to the show, Jack. Thank you. No photo for me? It is up there. Oh, there I am. Oh, there is no photo. I'm beautiful. That's very weird. There's a photo on wow. here. There's no photo up there. She's glowing. That's, that's Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for Might turning into your hum human form for <laughs> yeah. us this evening. Um, uh, no problem. Guys, Michael Good had to run out. I, I need a third um, panelist. Does anyone... <laughs> I mean, I just a free spot. Anyone? Oh, we got a brave soul in the back. Oh, we got a brave soul. All right, brave soul number one, please come up for your very special trial as a stuff member. Yeah. Uh, he's from the improv team. What's your name? Hi, I'm, I'm Alex. Alex Hi. from Narwhal! Welcome up here, Alex. Thanks. I'm the Empire State Building. <laughs> it's, good, it's great to find my meet friend you. I've been inside you hey. a few times. You get, get How did you feel hand. opening up for a live radio talk show with improv comedy? Confusing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, that's, that's my whole answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I appreciate that. And uh, where do you, like, did you, where did you guys meet? Like, where'd the improv team kind of come together? Oh, uh, you know, at the, at the pit. The at improv the pit? spot. Yeah. The pit where you guys fight? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all meet in the pit. <laughs> we met then, at the uh, snake pit. <laughs> and then we were like, you know, maybe we should stop fighting and start, uh, you know, making jokes about eating kangaroos instead. Yeah. Well, the yeah. inner show, the inner fight banter was what you really enjoyed. That's what kept yeah, you Exactly. Yeah. We were like, this is like, so we kind of like shifted gears more towards that. Mm. Okay, sweet. Well, Narwhal. This is your first show together, though, right? This is the premiere? Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Well, you guys did great. I appreciate you uh, lending your services to open up the show, right? Um, well, we'll Thanks. get right into Thanks our first segment. Thanks for having me back for uh, the B-Block. Uh, here. <laughs> These guys, this guy's awesome, says his own team members. <laughs> <laughs> um, debate team, guys. We, we, got some, we got two competing topics. I need to know what you guys have, what your choices are, so let's get right into it. Dodgeball or horse racing? Let's choose it. Dodgeball. Do Dod okay, dodge Jack's ball. got dodgeball. Dodge ball. Dodge ball. Uh, what do you oh, got? Fuck. Do I talk too slow? Do I have to have horse racing? No, you now? can pick dodgeball. Oh, I'm also doing dodgeball. I'm going to go with horse racing, and you fuckers are wrong. You have to give up one. Dodgeball tortures children and hurts. Horse racing doesn't hurt anyone but a horse, and horses don't have rights. Can I just... Uh, so here's my rebuttal. Dodgeball tortures children and hurts. That's all we need in a good sport. That's true. Sports need to hurt children. You, know, you, you, don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to break children to make them it's play their, dodgeball. It's their favorite thing. That's why you thing. are the weak. <laughs> it's their fa I was a camp counselor, and if you ever ran out of like things to do, you'd be like, you want to just throw balls at each other? And they were like, yes. Oh, God, this is so worth it. It was a gay you, you conversion camp. You know they have to camp? starve the horses. They put tapeworms in them. They put tapeworms in the horses? Yeah, you're an awful person for they supporting horses. They put tapeworms in the kids, too, man. Also, if you, if you ever watched a skinny. Western movie, they like blow up horses pretty regularly. So I, f I feel like horses have like a history of oppression that we shouldn't be like, you know, endorsing ah, up here. Yeah. You ever see Seabiscuit? You know what? <laughs> Let's get another <laughs> guy in the down, loop. Yeah, yeah, leave me that. Give a round of applause, everyone. All right. Um, I saw I'm a committed. hand back here. I saw a hand over here. Does anyone else want to come up to the you can't panel? Get, you can't get rid of me that easily. I'm here forever now. <laughs> Let's oh. uh, let's do a switch up. No, no, come on, no, up. Coming, we'll, we'll keep switching it around. I want to keep it. <laughs> come on down. Come on down. I'm interviewing the audience, everyone. Hey. hey. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming up. Um, all right. So today's. Uh, th appreciate you being here. What's your name? I'm your friend. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Abhishek. <laughs> Guys, uh, this one's very important, Abhishek. Uh, which one we want to choose? Strawberry Jelly or Frasier, the Frasier. television show? <laughs> Frasier, Spelled dude. correctly. I know how to spell. <laughs> so what do we pick? Uh, well, I've never seen the show Frasier. Have uh, you had Strawberry Jelly? But, uh, yeah, I have had Strawberry Jelly. It tastes delicious. Frasier sounds gross. Sounds like it would taste like a tire. Could you put Frasier on toast? Frasier. Try hard enough, maybe. You spread them nice and thin? You could if it wasn't subsidized by the government. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Kelsey what's Grammer's a, a famous Republican. What's, what's Thank the you. plot of Frasier? <laughs> He's just hanging out. Uh, he has to go home so the to stuff. take care of his dad. Yeah, yeah it's the stuff. Yeah. It was the original this stuff. Is Frasier? This Seattle. is Frasier? This Seattle, is what Frasier was? This is New yeah. York Frasier. I did these Niles. <laughs> Guys, dogs or the desire for social <laughs> acceptance? I think they're kind of the same thing, right? <laughs> you have to choose. Yeah, dogs. Yeah, I guess dogs. So you don't want social acceptance? No, I mean, I don't know. I just Can you get social acceptance? Can you, Jack? Oh, shit. I really I don't dogs. know. I really don't know <laughs> if it's good. I guess you have to go with dogs, then. Because one is fleeting. <laughs> <laughs> so is a dog. They don't live that long. Oh, my God. Yeah, this dogs like, do not live that long. Do you guys have out. pets? This is freaking me out. The show or just the question? <laughs> the philosophical question of the desire for social acceptance. Guys, um, we have to keep the show moving along. And you know how many advertisers I've had tonight. Aditya, can you read the ad at the top yes, of the page for me? Okay. Tonight's episode of The Stuff is brought to you by Captain Peanut's Pirate Cruises. Captain Peanut offers the only pirate-themed cruise in the Hudson River. Embark on an enriching journey through New York's pirate history. Swab the deck, hoist the sails, kill people for the mob. Have you always wanted to feel like Jack Sparrow? Captain Peanut's has everything you need. Ropes, hooks, parrots that say your social security number, Jody Foster, and scurvy. Use promo code DONLIN for a free gun. 
There we go, our sponsor. <laughs> and you know, Abhishek, I'll let, I, I want you to read that final one before we say goodnight to you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and shoot you off stage. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> that last All right, final ad class. of the evening, everyone. Thank you so much. Tonight's right, episode right. of The Stuff is Live is brought to you by Christmas with your family. It's July, and you may be thinking, hmm, I haven't had unexplainable rage at anyone with my last name lately. That's because you're just five short months away from the worst time of year. Christmas with your family. Set up the Christmas tree. Watch your mom cry. Smoke weed out of your childhood bedroom window. <laughs> Deny Christ three times. And so much fun to be had at the low, low cost of one flight home for about two days too long. Don't forget to tell James sent you. Abhishek Singh, everyone! Yeah. Patty, where are you, Patty? Come on up. There We're gonna get Patty up here for the rest of the show. Thank you, Abhishek. Appreciate you coming up and helping me. I got friends with great reading voices. Thank you all for being here. Every time, Patty, kissing me on the lips. Guys, I think we have just, you know, about 15 minutes left in our show here tonight. Are you guys having fun? I appreciate all of you being here and sticking with me through this. It's the first time I've done something like this, and my boy's all here, and Wait, Malia, 15 and minutes Michael left? Good. Yeah, we got 15 minutes left. That sounds like a perfect time for another Holocaust joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's ruin the mood when there's that one so... Went, that one went well. <laughs> um, guys, everyone know, everyone's favorite show here is The Stuff. We all know about the segments here. Uh, Missed connections, love advice. Um, guys, Jack, you're a romantic guy, right? You get laid a lot. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> I don't know if those correlate. Just ask my penis. Oh, he hurts. <laughs> that one was pretty he bad. He aches. <laughs> oh, we got a call oh. coming in. Oh, Jack, never mind. Yeah, that's probably hey, the best. Hey, thank you for calling into the Stuff Live. You're here with James. Hey there, fuckface. Guess who? <laughs> Guess who? Um, Scrooge McDuck? <laughs> no, fucking idiot. It's the ghost of Logan Roy. The ghost Ooh. of Logan Roy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm the my ghost of the market of capitalism. Ooh. Oh, he's the he's the spirit of capitalism. Come, so if you guys don't know, it's on the stuff. Logan Roy from Succession <laughs> purchased the show, <laughs> and then if uh, you haven't finished Succession, he yeah. died. Yeah, <laughs> Already kind of a dated yeah, reference. Go through. Go the plot. Uh, why are you calling in? You're dead. Listen, listen. I had this whole fucking thing planned, but then I saw that my son Jackie, Jackie, Jackie boy, Jack Roy was on the show. I just wanted to make sure he's okay. Your, your yeah, dad you is Logan dad, Roy? Fine? Yeah. And you, you're wearing that shirt? And you're wearing that shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of the black sheep of the family. <laughs> More like blue sheep. That's the shirt I bought him on his 16th birthday. Oh, the little Jackie. My sweet 16. <laughs> what do you want? You're a ghost. Do you want to purchase the ghost version of the show? Fuck no. What I want to do is I want to say, Jack, Jack, look into the camera. I want to tell you something. You're the successor. Fuck Kendall. Fuck Shiv, fuck Roman. It's you, Jackie boy. You oh, kill everyone shit. in your way this to get to the top of that building in Times Square. Oh, he just hung up. Wow, but he gave you the company before he hung up. <laughs> you got, it. You got the company. company. Guys, put your hands together for Jack, everyone. Jack Balefko. Yeah, Jack. Earns Thanks, the company. <laughs> everyone knows what we're talking about. Um, guys, I, I have a couple more voicemails. Media. Oh, I got, oh, my God. The calls are just rolling in. Thank you for calling into the stuff. Oh, hi, hi, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for answering. Hey, thanks for calling in. How you doing? Oh, I'm great. Uh, you know, I, I just wanted to call in and say, what happened to that, uh, that, that hilarious guy, uh, uh, Alex, that made that exploding horse joke? You know, I, I feel like he was shoot off the stage a little too quickly. Alex, did you leave the venue to call <laughs> into the show? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sure that guy's still in the audience. I, I'm, sure, I'm sure he is. You I don't know, see in the back being beautiful, really long, flowing hair in the audience. <laughs> I My see. eyes aren't yeah, being I averted see, you know, from the glare. Maybe he's in the bathroom. Maybe he's in the bathroom. Oh. I, I see a mop with a face on it. Oh, there's just a <laughs> Somewhere in the Someone back. just drew eyes on a mop. <laughs> and why'd well, they give it tits? Dude, That's I mean, you weird. did a great job, but you had, like, minutes at the top. I got to keep it moving through all my guests. Yes, you know, you did a great job, though. Maybe. Uh, well, you know, uh, that, yeah, that's probably okay. Uh, yeah, I'll call you back. I'll call you back in a few minutes. No, please don't. <laughs> please don't. Please don't. <laughs> well, thank you so much to Alex for... Oh. <laughs> okay, that's it. Hey, thanks for calling into the Stuff Live. How you doing? Hey, uh, doing great. Hey, uh, my name is Jorge. I'm actually in the back recording and streaming your show. I just wanted to know, do you have access to your live chat? Do I have access to my live chat? I do not have access to my live chat. Thanks for calling in. Okay, right. 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 Even, right. even, even better, I'm just going to read them off to you. Oh, uh, I got comments. Have, 
we have from the real comic uh, comic fan, the stuff, the movie, the stuff, the movie two, two stuff, two furious, the wow. stuff, the movie three, triple stuff. Then from Aditya's spam, we have. They go, we have 14 people here. Be funny, gentlemen. Whoa! <laughs> they got the, the whole game. Wow. I don't believe in comedy. Wow. Oh, wow. You got the whole gang yeah. asking and waiting for the jokes to start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just waiting. Well, that is very... Th Jorge, thank you so much for calling in from the back. I appreciate the update. Hey, I appreciate you. Uh, have a great show, gentlemen. Thanks. And Oh, he was about to say something. <laughs> He's so nice for calling in from just the back room. <laughs> yeah. Now the live stream's going to zoom in on your forehead, James. Get oh, ready for God, that. my glistening, glistening forehead. <laughs> um, guys, we have a, f a couple voicemails left in the docket for you. Um, actually, just one. All right, let this me play mic, the final this voicemail. This mic smells weird. Corn cob, tuna fish, train car, turtle, fox court, denim, naked guys, boys kissing, man lips, boy fingers, activate sleeper agent, 499. Wait, what? I have to go to the bathroom. You have to go yeah. to the bathroom? Yeah, right I have now? to go to the bathroom. That does. I'm, I'm sorry. I actually have to go to the bathroom real quick. Do, yeah, you guys, do, you, do, you, do I need to here. run your show? Yeah. What's going on? Do you guys think you could... Uh, this is so unprofessional. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, see you. Um, All right. Yes. All right. Oh, shit. That's weird that he got that call and then left. <laughs> a little suspicious, if you ask me. Yeah. What yeah. Is, so we have to finish the fucking show? I don't I just care about I this can't show. Just, not, yeah, it's not our show. Yeah. Like this, yeah. Oh, sorry, I could be at buddy. home playing no, 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 Fortnite. Your fault. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. I want you joined yeah. in, you know? Yeah. This is uh, uh, really damning our inability to make even 30 seconds interesting for us. I think it's yeah. rude of a host to just get up and walk away. It's not with our, a it's blank not our look in his care. eyes. Oh shit! What the hell was that? Those were condoms. Wait a oh, minute. No. Oh no! Wait a minute. Oh no! Oh, What's no, it's going on? Hold on. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Let me get my theme music. Everybody, grab your cigarette. All right. Everybody, oh, grab your cigarette. What? Ladies and gentlemen, you know me. You sort of love me, right? We all, we Not all, even a little. Not even a little, buddy. <laughs> you all know me. You all love me. I what am... is happening? Shit. Ladies and gentlemen. Patty, you should run. My name is Jimmy the Penis. <laughs> and I am taking over the stuff live. All right. I bring condoms. I bring cigarettes. And I bring the jokes. Aditya, long time no see. How are you doing? Wait, Aditya, was, you know this fucking asshole? I actually murdered him on stage. Really? Yeah. It I'm was a beautiful moment, Sid, among friends. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't mind being murdered time and again. I don't mind. Aditya, this is a lovely show. I thank you for inviting me to come out tonight to I, your I very special You were not invited, invite Jimmy. You. I, didn't I like that. to have a good time, and I see that the theme of the night is lists. <laughs> so these are Jimmy the Penis's five worst live events of all time. Okay. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> all right. Fuck you, audience. You can't do that, Jimmy. My dad hit me. <laughs> The first <laughs> cruel event, worst live event of all time, December 8, 2018. <laughs> I was in college and my friend Nick got way too drunk and he threw up in a shower naked. That's not a live event. I remember that, you... yeah. All right, the next one on the list, October 12th, <laughs> the worst live event that happens every year, Aditya Maya's birthday. Hey, oh, come, come on. on. Come on. I didn't even do anything. Aditya either. always has to do a big <laughs> fancy thing for his birthday. You've and you know what? Possibly the worst live event of all time was the active birth of Aditya Maya. All right. The oh active God. birth? Were you there? The third worst <laughs> live event of all time was Band-Aid. What, Band what were they raising all that money for? <laughs> Crime? <laughs> you guys remember Band-Aid? No. No, none How of us remember that. We, we weren't are. alive. I was born in 1980, and that... <laughs> Happened That's then. That's actually younger than I thought you were. <laughs> I didn't give a specific. You look terrible. <laughs> Guys, the fourth, <laughs> fourth on the list is the Guinness World Record event for most people oh, married no. at once. 
Jesus. How could this Guinness possibly World be Record married about hundreds and hundreds of people at one time? And uh, I just felt very left out. <laughs> okay. They didn't even invite me to go. Well, maybe you should not take over people's radio shows if you want to get married. That's Listen, a start. I am about vision, cigarettes, yes. and using sexual protection. Yeah, that's great. It's actually pretty I'm, reasonable. Pretty Glad good, you yeah. added and vision. And the final, yeah, the final <laughs> worst live event was Aditya's birthday last year, where Aditya performed his one-man show, Crisp Remembrance. <laughs> That was possibly the worst theater experience I have ever witnessed. You said it was inspired. I said it inspired me to commit genocide. <laughs> oh my God. At something. Aditya, who is this guy? I match with him on Grinder. Oh, that explains. <laughs> um, Listen, Jimmy. What? We kind of had a good thing going on this show and then like, you just come on, your music is playing throughout the entire thing. Like, wh what's what's going on here? C can you explain? <laughs> no one can see that. Listen, Aditya <laughs> is a pathetic loser, <laughs> and I come out, oh, no one can see. Oh. <laughs> no one can see your beautiful <laughs> complexion. Aditya is a beautiful, dark-skinned man, <laughs> and his complexion oh. is always fumbled through footage. Oh, my God. I guess you'll have to buy the light. The lights are going completely. Yeah. You still <laughs> you cannot see Give it up for Aditya. Jimmy the penis out. Picture? That's one pixel. That's Wait, one you're just that's leaving one pixel. Don't leave that picture up on. <laughs> All right, thank God. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry what about the that. Heck, guys? What was that, I broke that cigarette terrible. immediately I'm... out of anger. Like we said, the show's unscripted. Anything uh, yeah. can happen. Now what are we gonna? Oh, oh hey, Jimmy hey, welcome James. back, buddy. You what okay? Are, why the... was there a cigarette in my mouth? And why was I backstage? Dude, you just you did, did this whole. What is this fucking music? Oh my God, Aditya! What is this photo of you? It's 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 okay. Don't I, I wouldn't worry about. Wow, that. I can see all the details on your face. Um. <laughs> what happened? I, dude, you just walked out. I was out here on the show. I played a voicemail, and then I woke up backstage completely naked. You don't remember being a complete? <laughs> you tool? put all your clothes on that quick? Yeah, that was. Yeah, you were Wait, you here. woke? Wait, <laughs> it took it, it took you a lot longer to put so, a hat wait, and glasses on. Too. So you forgot what happened. And then whoever you just were went in there, got naked. <laughs> you keep and saying who I was, you know? Like, I, like, you're just addicted to the past, James, you know? I'm more about the present, James. <laughs> right. You I live, live in, in the, the moment. moment. You live in the moment. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I like to live in the moment. Yeah. Sure. Drake. <laughs> Drake. And then you put all Enough your clothes said. back on right. and came out. I had to quickly throw my clothes back on, and then I just had a cigarette in my mouth, and then I had came back out here. Wow. I say we just move on. <laughs> I'd say we move on, too. Um, I was going to do a little piece of programming for the evening uh, to round out the end of the show, if you guys don't mind. Uh, it's something that we do all the time here on this stuff. Um, I first learned. It's play videos with ads. Um, <laughs> but no, I, um, I, we, we get some programming now and again, and we get some... Uh, at the end of the show, we have to uh, do some... You know educational rules? Like how you have to... Uh, you know what I mean? Like how there's certain regulations of what you have to do on programming, like the FCC regulates yeah. things. Uh, well, this is, this is a segment of the show to close us out here called the Detective Jizz Chronicles. <laughs> you guys you ready? Not a high batting average on the spelling here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Chronicles? I'm an, I'm an, I'm an audio this? based. Uh, is this the Latin version of the Chronicles? <laughs> this city. Oh, do I have to turn this down? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Jazz is too uh, intense. This city, this city bleeds. In the cold, heartless city of New York, the elite detectives of the Special Seaman Unit investigate <laughs> nut-based crimes hidden from the public. <laughs> Their star detective, Mauricio Ernest Jizz. <laughs> I hope my nine-year-old cousin is part of the people Leads watching. Leads a crackshot <laughs> team of forensic investigators maintaining peace between the boroughs. These are the Detective Jizz Chronicles. Chronicales. Chronicales. December 8th, 1976. It's a hot summer day. One of those days so hot you gotta keep pulling your underwear down between your thighs so you don't get <laughs> chafed up. 
The pollen count is high, but the stakes are higher. As two male maids discover a body in their mansion. So, so I was just saying, Martha, if you don't let me clean your ears, how am I going to clean your heart? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I have to say, it's kind of, why does she just clean her own ears? What's that smell? You smell that? It smells yeah. like your wife Martha's ears. So, so, hey, how do you know about that? Oh, but we can talk about that later. There's oh. a dead oh, body right Oh, no, here. it's a dead body. Yeah, yeah. It's turned I, inside I, out. Oh, and the walls are just covered in, wait, wait what's that? Semen. <laughs> you know, you didn't have to taste it. Well, how else Two police <laughs> officers arrive on the scene to establish a perimeter. However, it seems they seem to be stuck in the kitchen, rifling through the cabinets and food. Hey, boss, I just took a look. There's no Cracker Jacks in here. You promised me Cracker Jacks. I'm sorry, kid. It looked like a Cracker Jack family. Well, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I'd eat the carrots, you know? All right. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I like carrots. Hey, you're a good kid. What's up, Doc? <laughs> You watch too many cartoons. Yeah, that's what they tell me, boss. God. Hey, I, I'm Detective Jizz. Oh. I heard this was a semen-based crime, yeah. and Aditya's young cousins are watching. <laughs> <laughs> so I showed up to the crime scene. Detective Jizz, it's good to see you. You're just in time. Yeah, very confident to have no, you No, your here. fingers are in the time in the fridge. That's a herb <laughs> joke. <laughs> What else am I supposed to eat these carrots with? You guys have found some Cracker Jack in the back room. Where is the body? <laughs> oh, we were focused on the snack. Oh, we yeah, haven't, sorry. We haven't yeah, found we just the body. To make sure. You haven't found, found the body yet? yet? No, 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 you can smell the body. No, you can smell we the found body. the semen. We're, we're, we're pretty confident here that it yeah, is a body. Yeah. Mm. It's yeah. like the prize What's this the in the middle of the, middle of the living room? It looks like a bloody pipe and a bag of bugle snacks. All right, I'll take the bugle snacks. This is very important evidence. I have a guy, I have someone who's an expert on bugle forensics. All right. I'm gonna take this to him now. Bugle forensics? <laughs> hey, you Dennis know. Rodman. <laughs> yes? You're Dennis Rodman? Yes. You I can't. thought you was gonna be the basketball player you to help me. Can't tell by my low post moves? I don't know anything about basketball, but I do know that I found this bloody bag of bugles, and there's a smell of a body at a jizz-covered mansion in Westchester. <laughs> do you have anything that would indicate wh what happened in this murder? Well, there's a giant beach ball, a drawing of a leprechaun, and <laughs> two pairs of scissors. Mm. You do the math, Detective Jizz. That's as far as I can take you. Mm. All that stuff you said sounds like evidence. <laughs> <laughs> no matter. I shall return to the mansion and go talk to a cop who has the exact same voice as you. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Lay's Potato Chips. <laughs> What's going on? I was just putting the case together. I just got lost in your eyes. <laughs> they look good. There's like something about you that... Like salt and vinegar Lay's <laughs> potato chips. <laughs> You're sponsored by Lay's <laughs> potato chips. Very fascinating. Well, I guess I have to solve this murder now. <laughs> what was all that evidence that the bugle guy gave me? It was a beach ball, a drawing of a leprechaun. Okay. And two pairs of scissors. Although I think the scissors are unrelated to the crime. So I think this guy had a rough day <laughs> at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Detective Jizz. <laughs> Time to go eat these bugles. <laughs> did, did he do it? He solved, he solved the, case. the case. God, Detective Jizz, you would have done it again. again. Why was there semen wow, everywhere? Detective Jizz, everyone. <laughs> Round of applause. You guys had so much fun with that. You guys are the best. Well, guys, that is the stuff live. That's our show at Caveat. Hey. I would like to take a moment to thank everyone who came out here tonight. Aditya, Jack, and Patty. Malia and Michael Good from earlier. Abhishek and Alex. Very gracious, and you guys are all the best. Here at Caveat, they have such great staff while they're blasting gasolina while I... <laughs> uh, Crystal on the bar, Andrew serving, Sebastian on tech. Sebastian was so great. Let's put a round of applause yeah. for Sebastian. <laughs> Running up here and helping me. Mariposa on the floor. Mariposa, very helpful seating us. 
Uh, Lauren and Jorge. Jorge called in from the back. Jorge's the OG. That's incredible. Thanks, Jorge. Guys, um, this has been a fantastic show. I appreciate you doing this with me and coming along for the adventure. Um, I hope to be able to do this again someday. And if they ever let me do it again, uh, I hope you all come. But thank you so much. Have a great night. And uh, let's get some drinks somewhere. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks so much. So happy to have you all here. Thank you for coming out to The Stuff Live. This is going to be a very fun show with a lot of technical problems, and I think you guys are really going to like that. Um, we got the PowerPoint up and running yet? No? No? No. OK, well, well we're going to rock and roll with it, you know? We're going we're gonna to have a fun old time. How we doing? Thank you so much for coming out to The Stuff Live, everyone. I appreciate you guys coming so much. I desperately need the PowerPoint on before I... <laughs> desperately, desperately. How we doing, man? Oh, guys, give it up for Sebastian, our tech guy. This is such... You know, I planned this. I planned this part of it. How we doing? Let's get to know the audience a little bit. Why not? How we doing in the front row? Why are you here? <laughs> for the oh, you know one of the performers. Awesome, awesome. How are you doing, front row? We having fun? I don't believe you. <laughs> that made me sad. Front row over here. Great. We okay, Sebastian? How we doing? Something got unplugged. Guys, this is how live broadcasts always go, right? Anyone work in live production? <laughs> All right. All right, let's, you know what? I don't know. I'll just talk to you guys. Um, sweet. Why, why, we all here because we know someone, right? No one's random, right? Clap your hands if you have no idea what you're here for. <laughs> no, no, not like that. <laughs> not, 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 in a, not in life, you know, just like a more, more specific. There we go. There we go. We're getting there. 